put on this computer. Okay, so hi everyone, and we are here with Luigi, who is a partner with Julia. So Luigi, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Just little, tell us a bit about yourself. Hello guys. Um, well, as mentioned before, my name is Luigi. I am a, a pretty big fan of Midnight Poppy Land, I would say. Uh, Julia got me into it around like, uh, around the, pand the start of the pandemic as well. Uh, at first, like, you know, took some convincing me, <clears throat> convincing to get me to start reading it but as soon as I got the ball rolling like I could not stop I could not wait till like the next episode um so yeah as far as that goes yeah I'm just an avid fan of it so that is impressive because I'm not so sure how many of the partners actually read Vinay Populant so how does it work do you guys like read it together do you take turns uh usually the way it works is um Julie would actually kind of fast pass it so she'd be like kind of always be a week ahead of me so I always had to play like catch up, but then she's like, she would always like beg me like, did you read it yet? Did you read it yet? I'm like, no, not yet. I have to like catch up to it. I got some other things to do, but I promise I'll get to it. And then once like, she, like I tell her like that I finally read it, we'll like have a discussion, kind of like see like what happened, how, like what we thought of the episode, usually always really good, never as disappointed. So are you like all caught up now? Like did you finish all the way through like 49? I, I don't, I, pretty sure I did not get a chance to read 49 yet but I probably will like right after <laughs> okay do you like I know like what fast pass you can only have it on one account on one device so do you like right. share the device so you can both read fast pass no no it's just her it, that's like her thing like I'd rather wait because I feel like okay. this where like you can't go any farther so then you got to wait like two weeks then to get to the next episode yep yeah four weeks in between like if you want to catch up but right yeah. Yeah, I know some people like just decide not to spend coins and they're just right. yeah. well. <laughs> So another question. So how would you um well you read Midnight Poppy Land, so this question is gonna be easier for you, but like um I asked this question for people who don't read it, like to summarize Midnight Poppy Land in like one sentence. Like what's it about? But you know what it is about, so like yeah, whatever. I, but I would say uh a girl from a small editing, like book editing company. Um uh, you know, went through some hardship, kind of ran into a guy and you know, a guy named Tora. They kind of got into like some craziness together because on the other side of things like uh, Poppy did not realize that Tora was part of like a mafia. And, you know, he, it seemed like as time went by, they grew closer, but he wanted to kind of keep her apart because he didn't want her, want her to see that kind of side of him because, you know, it would be dangerous for her. I would say that's in a nutshell what the story is about. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Yeah. Okay, no, I mean, not surprising since you read it. So here's another question. Uh, so how does Julia behave when she reads Midnight Poppy Land? Like, what's her, does she have a routine? Do you like hear her shrieking? Yeah, like her, like as soon as the notification comes up on her phone, She's like, oh my God, man, I have a land. Like, I'm going to read it like right now. Like, I'm like, all right, all right. Like, cool. Like her enthusiasm is like, like through the roof. Like her face glows as soon as it comes up. And she's like on that. She's like a huge fan of it. And, that's you know, like, I think it's awesome. I think that's like the best thing. What is she like afterwards? Like, how does she behave after she reads the episode? She's like, oh, such a good episode. Like, I can't wait for next week. Like, I can't believe, like, I fast passed it because now I got to wait. I just want the next one to come out, like, right now. <laughs> like, like, all over. Yeah. So, another question. Um, are you jealous of Torah? Jealous of Torah. Good question. Sometimes I feel like she has, like, this kind of fantasy, like, this sort of side fantasy that Torah is just, like, this big, like, scary dude that will, like, protect whoever, you know, he cares about. But then, like, you know, she also loves, like, a sensitive guy. And I feel like Tora has those moments that, like, he shows a lot of sensitivity to those he cares about, too. So it's just, like, to her, it's, like, her, like, like, like a dangerous bad boy, kind of, but with a soft spot. Like, that's the, in a nutshell, like, that's the way she sees it. So sometimes, yeah, a little jealous. A little jealous, <laughs> can't lie. <laughs> yeah do you see like any of yourself in Torah 
Uh, well, he's like portrayed like he's gigantic. He's like what six two, Three. six maybe. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm not that. So <laughs> so there's that. I'm not that, but I would say just the willingness to protect her at all costs, no matter what. Like, Aww. I would to protect her. So I guess That's in sweet. that. Way. How long have you and Julia been together? Oh God, almost seven years. Oh, almost. that's so nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's been a awesome. long time. Okay, so another question. Do you know what the $5 Patreon tier is? Yes, because Julia has it, I believe, <laughs> as well. <laughs> okay, and how has your life changed due to the $5 Patreon tier? Well, I like I don't personally like participate in it but from what I understand what she does with it like you know she sees like a lot of like the art the process of like behind the scenes maybe like a couple of deleted things and she'll see like a couple like spicy things and she'll like bring it up to me and she's like oh like this like makes it like a lot more interesting like this is worth the investment like <laughs> like it, it makes me love it that much more so like, you, I guess it just excites her. <laughs> okay. Have your have your like Friday nights changed or have you like seen anything directly as an outcome of those those Patreon? Uh I just remember seeing a couple like the outlines, but nothing really too in depth. She just more liked telling me about it and you know, I take her word for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so now I'm going to share my screen and show you a bunch of characters. Now, you read in the popular, so I think you should do pretty well. So, yeah, let's see if you can name them by name and just tell me who they are. All right. Okay. So, we'll start with this, which you may or may not know who this is. I'm assuming that's Poppy. Nope. No? Oh, no, that's uh, Lily Dusk. Yay! The yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. That's Lily, yeah. That's yeah. her avatar. <laughs> Okay, well, this one you should know. That's Poppy. Okay, and you already told us who she is. Yeah, that's Tora. Yep, and you told us who he is too, so I'm not going to bother asking. <laughs> okay, this guy. Oof. See, this is where like my knowledge starts to go fuzzy. I know, I know Tora's not a fan of him. I know that for sure. I know that okay. much, but as I, I forgot his name off the top of my head. Okay. Um, Goliath. Does that ring any bells? Goliath. Bells? Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Okay. Who's Goliath? Can you tell us who Goliath is? I want to say that either he's a part of the same, ma like part of the same mafia, or he's like a rival. That's like pretty much all I know. I know he's just kind of like has like a snake-like character. Like, <laughs> like shady. That's that's as far as I, my knowledge goes, to be honest. Okay, <clears throat> pretty good. Yeah, he grew up with Tora, and he betrayed him. Um, in like the first or second episode, you see that first episode, you see that he betrayed him to the police. But they grew up together, so it's kind of like. And Goliath asked him to save him in the first episode, okay. and he's from actually he's from an opposing clan, the Nine Daggers clan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Next question. Who's this? Quincy. Ooh, who's Quincy? Quincy, uh, like, I, I would say Tora's best friend, even though Tora may not, like, say that out loud. I think that they're, like, one of their closest friends. And um, I know he's, like, a book writer, but he's, like, a ghost writer, though. He doesn't, like, use his name. And mm -hmm. as far as I know, up to, like, now, uh, Poppy and him are working together on a book that, you know, for their company, because it would help uh, Poppy's company, you know, grow, get on the map. Yep. <clears throat> and do you know who his dad is? I know he's like the boss of the mafia, but I do not remember his name. For a yep. Long. Well, he'll come up shortly, so don't worry. <laughs> wow. Awesome. You did great. Okay. Who's this guy? Oh, man. I know he's another close friend of Toro and no, can't remember the name. Okay. Um, can you tell me about like what he does? Uh... No, uh, no, sorry, I, like, I'd be lying if I tried. Like, <laughs> okay, so his name is Giyu or Gayu, and he works at a ton of restaurants. That's basically his, right. he's also the tech guy for the clan. 
Okay, yeah, because I know he. I notice he's like always like on his phone. He does like a bunch of things like of that nature. I know yep. that. Yeah. He like pops up all around town wherever they go to a restaurant. It's like, oh my god, you work here too. Oh my god, you work here too. <laughs> right, right. Okay, and who's this fella? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's the boss. Yep. What made you say that? Uh, cause he's like right next to Tora, and I know like Tora is kind of like his right hand man, or like more like bodyguard kind of right hand man. I, I would say. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, and that's his name is Vincent, and so that's the one you were referring to. He's Quincy's dad. Kind right. of look alike too. <laughs> yeah, I see it. <laughs> okay, and who's this lady? Ah, uh, forgot her name, but I know, I know, like Tora and her kind of like have their own little relationship. She's very sassy. I know that. <laughs> nope. um, I'm pretty sure. Does she own a brothel? I, I don't know. I feel like you know, <laughs> I, I don't, Maybe, I don't but know. she, as far as we know, she owns a restaurant. I mean, uh, okay, maybe she okay, also owns a brothel. I, I don't know. I, that's how. That's how awesome. Did good. Yeah, her name's Alice. Alice, okay. Mm -hmm. And she was, um, Tora actually worked for her since he was a teenager, and she really helped him out a lot and, like, was kind of like a motherly figure. For yeah, him. like a mother figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yep. Okay. Who's this guy? I know he was the security guard that was, that's outside of, like, Poppy's apartment? Or, I don't know, I could be wrong. Oh, no, he's the, the detective. No, 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 sorry. I'm trying to blank. Okay, so I'll give you a hint. He is Alice's son. Does that ring a bell? Nope. Okay, so his name is Joe, and okay. he is someone who was a clan member at some point and then became a police officer and was like a mentor for Tora. And we don't know what happened to him. It seems like he's dead. Oh, oh okay, that's why I didn't see him a lot. All right, that makes sense. <laughs> yep. Okay, who is this lady? That is Poppy's best friend. God, I am really bad with names. <laughs> okay, well, she Those has a, an interesting name. Her name's Erdine. Dang, all right, not close. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, and she, um, I don't know if she's Poppy's closest friend, but she's probably her closest friend in Naren City. Right, she's her co right. right. <laughs> Yeah, she definitely is a, a good, supportive, big friend for her. Okay, who's this guy? I know he he works in the company with with uh, Poppy. I want to say that's her boss. Yeah, that's that her boss. Is, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna see if I can make this bigger and the other one smaller. Eh, okay, it didn't work. I go back. Oops. Okay. Okay. Who's this guy? That is, I know another coworker, and yep. I'm not even gonna bother trying to guess his name. I'm okay. Really... <laughs> it's Jacob, but listen, you know who Jacob. he is, so that's the most important. Right. <laughs> okay, this lady. It's getting harder, by the way, as we go on. It's getting more obscure. Yeah. Because I like I I know I've seen her face. I know like. A face, but I can't. I can't do names. I really can't. Um, I want to say she works for the police. Yep. Yes. No, she works for the police. <laughs> yep. Her name's Lane, and Poppy goes to her like way back in like episode four to report that Tora right, took a picture of her on yeah. the scene. and then she also calls Tora later in the restaurant, and we're not sure like how they're connected. Right. <clears throat> Possibly, maybe his parole officer from when he was arrested. We're also thinking maybe she has got his sister because he kind of references a sister who was trying to reach him. We don't know. <laughs> I know Julius told me a couple of theories yeah. with, in relation to Torah and like the cops. I don't want to give any spoilers here, but like <laughs> it kind of like you know makes the story really interesting. Yeah, and uh, we don't know, and we'll find out. Yeah. Okay, who's this gentleman? Mr. Lamb. Yay! Yes. And I know he's like a wealthy man, I guess. Um, and as far as I know, Poppy was is trying to like kind of get him on board to invest in their company or mm -hmm. to 
to publish a book with them. Like I, I'm not like a hundred percent sure, but I know he wants to, like she's really trying to like lure him in, into like, <laughs> making yep. some sort. Of yeah, she um, he has this project that his his wife, his deceased wife, had right. this book that she wrote, and she wanted it to be completed by the Cuban Yoko, who is right. the, what the pen name for you know Quincy. So she's trying to get him to you know to get publish it with the company. Right. Okay. Right. Yep. Okay. Who's this lady? No idea. I don't okay. Remember. Her name's Candy. Does that ring a bell? Nope. Okay, so she is an exotic dancer who appears um, in the beginning and is in Tora. Let's just say that. <laughs> okay. Okay, this young man. I don't remember, but I, if I'm not mistaken, he, I believe he was like hurt. And Poppy kind of had to like pull him out of there and try to get him to safety. Yep. I do remember that. I don't remember why or what he was doing, but I know that's that's what was going on. Yep. So his name is Benjamin, and yeah. okay. she asked him to when she was outside the club Miracle and trying to save Mr. Lamb. She asked him to pass a, <coughs> pass a note to Mr. Lamb, mm -hmm. and he basically got thrown out and you know hurt while he was doing that. Right. So right. She, and she brings him to Quincy, and you know he's Quincy is his teacher apparently. So, yeah. Okay. Who is this guy? Now it's getting it's getting more obscure, so just like don't worry if you don't remember who's this oh. fella here. Oh god. His face doesn't ring a bell. No. Okay, so his name is Claude. Claude. Um okay. he's one he's one of the clan members. And um I mean Tor doesn't like him, but Tor doesn't like very many people, so it's not surprising. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed that kind of trend. Very <laughs> Yeah. Okay, this guy. I don't remember, but I know that when they were trying to kind of lure Mr. Lamb, and I, I think Poppy saw them, or one of them saw them, and, you know, kind of got the impression, like, oh, are they going to, like, hurt Mr. Lamb, or are they going to, like, take him hostage? But, like, mm -hmm. you know, he was completely fine, and, you know, it was still kind of weird, like, what did they want with him? Yeah. Do you remember you know, that? Yep, hundred percent. His name is Shark, and he's a clan right. member, as you see, like from his tattoo. Right. Yeah. So yeah, they he basically wanted to kill Mr. Lamb. I'm not quite sure why, and it's still a little unclear um, right. as to how he lured him in, because Mr. Lamb says like, "Oh, they have something very precious to me." So it seems like they were talking about his project with his wife and how right. they knew about it, because like they kind of met him arbitrarily. I don't know, but um, and I don't know why he would want to kill like a random person for no like. Right. I would think that killing a powerful person, like a rich person, would be something that makes you like makes people suspicious. So, like, if you want to kill someone, kill like a random person off the street that nobody knows about, you know? Yeah, that's I don't know. It's just very fuzzy, but I, I'm assuming there has to be. You know, there's a reason down the line. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. and this gentleman. <laughs> nope, no idea. Okay, that is Shing Ma, and he's the clan accountant. He's appeared like twice, so don't worry. <laughs> All right, cool. Because yeah. I don't remember his face. Okay, this person. Actually, less obscure. So, I have to reorganize this, actually. Uh, name, I don't remember, but I know he appeared recently. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to assume he's a love interest of Quincy, or if they kind of have, like, a flirty kind of relationship. But I also remember he kind of was like, you know, he tried to, I, I, like, um, when they were, like, at dinner, I remember, like, he was, like, talking to Poppy, and I had the impression that Toro was, like, kind of jealous of him. I'm not really sure why, but, like, I don't know, I just got that impression. Yep. But yep, you got it right. So, her name is Cordelia. She's gender nonconforming, which is why, you know, you put right, right. watch it with a boy. And yeah, so basically she's Quincy's like lover, not not like partner or anything, but like kind of like one night stand kind of person. Yeah. Um yeah. yeah, and Quincy asked her to basically make Poppy uh Tora jealous to flirt with Poppy. Right. <laughs> kind of like to assess how much Tora is into Poppy. <laughs> right. And I think it was like pretty obvious. Yep. <laughs> 
Okay, who's this guy? That is Poppy's dad. Yep, that's right. Any more details about him that you remember? I just remember that, uh, you know, Poppy had like a very close relationship with her father and kind of was like, like kind of like a huge mentor in the sense of like how to look at life, all like the little, appreciate all the little things in life. And obviously after losing her father, you know, he kind of wanted to, she kind of wants to like live the way that her dad lived. Yeah. Like free spirit. I don't know, just very positive. And in dark times, she would always like kind of think about him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well said. Yep. Okay, and last one. Extra credit for this one. I would not get that extra credit. I, I <laughs> like I don't even have like a figment of who he was. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So his name is Aniki, and he appears very briefly in the comic, but he's also part of a Patreon, which is why I put him in because it's funny and he's sorry, really funny. Really? No. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he's um. Tora jacked his car at some point to get to pop. Oh yeah, you know what? I remember that. Yeah, I I remember that part <laughs> very vaguely, but yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, so we have completed our quiz here, and now. I'm going to ask you, um, I'm going to say a bunch of words, and let's see what associations, Midnight Poppy Land associations you have with them. Some might be easy, some might be hard. Okay, tiger. Tiger. Clan, I guess. I don't know. Could be wrong. Okay, do you know what Torah means in Japanese? I'm going to go out on a limb and say it means tiger. <laughs> yep, that's right. Okay. Oh, that makes sense now. Yep, and actually, um, I don't know if you remember, Tora has a, a large tiger tattoo on his thigh. Yep, now I remember. Yep, that makes mm -hmm. sense. Yep, and on his back, actually, he has um, the kanji for that says tiger as well, also tattooed. Okay, all right, cool. <laughs> yep, okay, strawberries. Strawberries, I associate, like, the hair tie. Okay, that's good. Anything else? Nope. Okay. So strawberries, um, when Poppy, that picture when she was a little girl with her dad, she's uh -huh. drinking strawberry juice. And if you remember that photo with the van where there's a bunch of teenagers and then Tora is helping this little girl on the sidewalk, I think she has strawberry juice also. And he also uh -huh. refers to her, he refers later back, Quincy refers to strawberry girl. He hasn't gotten over strawberry girl. And Tora always drinks strawberry juice and like at the bar, at the grocery. So it seems maybe they met when they were younger and Tora like has gotten hooked on the strawberries and strawberry juice from her and that's like a connection wow all right i i didn't i honestly didn't know that but that that makes a lot of sense now mm -hmm. yep uh, all right cool okay next one avocado nope no i have no <laughs> okay so again, a little obscure, but um, av Poppy's avatar on her on her when, when she messages people oh, is an yeah. avocado oh. with a hula hoop. Yeah, with <laughs> yeah with the hands. Yep, I remember now. Yeah, and she also um, when she's googling the Ball Human organization, you see like her previous search history, and she was like part of this avocado advocacy group. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's. So, cool. I, yep. I always wondered why like her avatar was that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Okay. I think it's supposed to just like show how cutesy she is and like how right, like, innocent right. she is. That's, you know, yeah. like advocating for avocados, like who does that? It's like right. beyond save the whales. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know that. I, I wonder if that's even a thing. <laughs> right. Okay, hamster. Hamster. I don't know, Poppy comes to mind. Yep, that's right. Tora pulls her cute little hamster. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yep, and okay, red pin. Red pin. I don't know. Okay, uh, so Poppy wears a red pin when she goes to Club Miracle to rescue Mr. Lamb, and she accidentally leaves it at Quincy's house, and it seems as though Benjamin has stolen it. 
<laughs> okay. Yep. And you know we don't know if it's like maybe it's like a mafia connection because it kind of looks like the volume and crest. So. Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I am jackfruit. Jackfruit. No. No. I okay. So you remember when um, Antora threw Poppy his sweatshirt on the train? Mm -hmm. So afterwards, when she's at the police station, she's like, oh, what's the smell? I keep smelling it. And then she like sniffs the jacket and she realizes she's been sniffing, smelling his jacket all along. And she's like, she kind of, she's like, oh, it's this really nice smell. But then she blushes when she realizes like she's been smelling him and she like, yeah, right. the smell. Right. So, so later when she meets um, Tora at the restaurant, she's talking about how she can smell. And, and in front of Alice's restaurant, she's like, he's like, oh, that tree is fake. And he's, she's like, yeah, I know. I know it's fake. I can smell, you know? And she's like, just like I was able to smell your jack and she was going to say his jacket, but then she got embarrassed. But she's like, you're jackfruit. Yeah. <laughs> so we kind of also use it as like a euphemism for, for something. <laughs> so, okay. And last one, gray sweatpants. I want to say Tora. Okay. I want to say when Tora was like feeling sick. I don't know. I could be wrong. Yep. <laughs> the thing because I remember he had the sweatpants and he had like a dinosaur T-Rex shirt on. Yep. Did, did Julia mention anything about gray sweatpants to you? Like did you ask her to wear gray sweatpants by any chance? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. It's like I guess after we're done, look up gray sweatpants meme. It's this whole thing and it's um yeah it's like I'll let you look it up. You'll you'll find out for yourself. <laughs> so People aren't really enjoying seeing Tora with gray sweatpants. <laughs> oh, you know what? Okay, I know exactly what you mean. Okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. Exactly. <laughs> I I get the, the yep. support. <laughs> All right. Okay, so last question. This one's just like a more serious question. Um, right. How has has Julia's life changed and your life changed um, as a result of the night poppy land? Well, I believe like. I mean, I'm, I was never like a huge reader, I'll be honest, but like she kind of got me into like this new, like, you know, app that happened to be like Webtoons and then she like was telling me all about Midnight Poppy Land. So like when I gave it a chance, you know, I kind of went in with an open mind. I wasn't expecting much for it to change for me, but like it's really changed for me because I feel like it had added like another layer of connection between us. Mm -hmm. um, because like, you know, we both enjoyed the story and you know, she, I would always mention to her that, you know, like, like, I feel like you love this comic so much because I see a lot of Poppy in you just based on like some of her looks and like her personality, like Julie can be very serious, but also very cutesy. Aww. So like, that's why I was like, I, I can see why maybe like you love it so much. So it's like, you know, it's those little details that kind of show a little more appreciation and adds like another layer of like connection between us. And for me, I guess, just kind of opening my eyes to share her interests. So I, I guess that's pretty much the base of it. Oh, that's awesome. That's so sweet. Yeah. Love hearing that. I think, uh, you know, you'll hopefully see like the interview, like the video when it's published, but like, I think that it's had a great impact on a lot of people. And I think a lot of people love seeing their partner happy. And, you know, it's yeah, like a big that's, thing. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. Aww. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for, for coming and interviewing. I hope, I hope it went okay for you. Like, did, was it? Oh, it was um, great. It was fun. I had a good time. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> awesome. Thank you so, so, so much. And yeah, I'll, I'll tell you when it's, published um probably not for like another two weeks because i have like interviews this whole week and then i have to edit right. it and i've never never video edited in my life <laughs> well right. no i did i did a little bit but not much and like so i'm gonna have to learn <laughs> all, right. all right i look forward to it yeah thank you so so much and yeah keep enjoying reading with the poppy lines uh do you listen to the podcast also uh no julia actually like was the first to introduce it to me not too long ago but i'll have to check it out now yeah, if you like it, you know, it's, uh, we started making them like super long because people are like, I want more content. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll make sure to check it out. But like, okay. thank you for having me. Like, it's yeah, been thanks so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. And yeah, is it okay? Like when I post it, um, I see like your full name is appearing on the bottom, Louis, uh, Luigi Choella. 
Is that okay that it appears on the video or should I like try to edit that out somehow? Uh, no, that's fine. I think it's fine. Okay. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. And when I post it, can I tag you on Instagram? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. Okay. Thank you, so much. thank you so, so much for taking the time. I really, really, really appreciate it. And it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure meeting you and talking to you. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you too. Thanks again. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. Take care. Okay. Bye.